What's up everybody, my name is Vince, welcome to the channel, and today we have a special video for you, because we have a special promotion. Well, we picked up a special promotion at the Home Depot. It was buy a battery starter kit, get a bear tool for free. It was so good, I couldn't leave it in the store. I had to take it home with me for multiple reasons. And we're gonna talk about those multiple reasons right after this. So, it's a Makita deal. That's right, Makita. They're offering at the Home Depot right now, if you bought this four amp hour battery and Makita's rapid charger, this is called their starter kit, okay? You got a free bear tool. Now, we went with the oscillating tool. Why did we go with the oscillating tool? Because we wanted to put this tool up against another oscillating tool in what we call a tool test raw. If you are unaware what a tool test raw or you wanted to see this oscillating tool do battle, go to this video over here because I know we're just unboxing this now, but because of the magic here at our office in Camden, New Jersey, we're able to, I don't know, run a live video before we actually do the edited video where we unbox this. Just, there's not really magic. I'm just, I'm just re being reasonable with everybody and telling you the truth. So that's what's happening here. Now, I will say this. We can read the literature here. This is part number BL1840BDC1, Makita 18 volt LXT lithium ion battery pack and charger starter pack, four amp hours. This is their LXT line. It does have an indicator level on the back of the Makita battery. Pretty funny that this is still a selling point in Makita's book, but it is. Sometimes you will find on certain tools a battery indicator or charge indicator light on the battery as well as the tool. And sometimes there's four bars on your battery and three bars on your tool. It makes for reading the battery level. It's a little, but I digress. It says uh, up to 100% more capacity. It's got a 40 minute charge time. Now, as you can see here, it says starter pack, $70 value. The funny part is, it says $70 value, but they charged me $129 for this starter kit, right? But then gave me the bear tool for free, supposedly. It's conflicting information, I'm just saying. But as you can see here, it says fastest charge time. If you were to charge an amp and a half battery, it'd be 15 minutes. Two amps, 25 minutes. Three amps, 30 minutes. Four amps, 40 minutes. Five amps, 45 minutes. And six amps, 55 minutes. Now, if you wanted to confirm charge times, okay, how well this charger actually charges the batteries, go to this video over here. We've tested it at length. I will say this. This is a Makita rapid charger. It is fan cooled and it actually will even play a tune. Pretty amazing stuff. Pretty cool. It says the perfect starting point for building your own collection of 18 volt LXT tools. It's got a three year warranty, tool and battery. Pretty cool stuff. We're gonna leave that right there for now because we already have battery. It's a five amp hour, it's already charged. So we're gonna use that for some pr preliminary testing. Now, some of you in the know, when it comes to the promotions at the Home Depot, will say, I bet he's leaving this in the package because he's going to return this. I'm, I'm actually, I'm not going to return this, but some of you are thinking that because that's what some of you do to make the most out of your bear tool purchases. So, let's just say you had so many batteries you didn't need this battery and charger, but you wanted to get the promo. What you can do is you could return this 
for what Home Depot calls their max refund value, okay? You just wanted to keep the bare tool. The max refund value on this item, charger battery, $67.10, okay? So it says start, starter pack, $70 value. I still have paid $129 for it. It says the value here is $70. And then it says the max refund value is $67.10. It's, it's a lot going on there. I, I'm just saying. So, in essence, that means that you would end up paying 50 some odd dollars for this oscillating tool, which seems like a pretty good deal, being that retail is 119. So you always have that option. Quite frankly, I like to have the batteries and the chargers, so. With that being said, let's look here. This is Makita's 18 volt LXT lithium ion multi-tool, tool only. It is LXT. It does have a three year warranty on tool and battery. So Makita only has that three year warranty. It says, tool made in China, blade made in Switzerland. Runs like a switch watch, switch watch. It's pretty funny though, it says tool only and they're including the blade. Includes tool only, not included are the batteries. Boom, you can see that. It's product number XMT03Z. Some of the standouts are a large on and off slide switch with lock on button for operator convenience. Toolless clamp system for fast accessory installation. I'll be the judge of that. 3.2 degree oscillation angle engineered for faster, more aggressive cutting and sanding. If it's true, you'll find it over there in that video. It includes adapters to fit most competitive accessories. Pretty cool. Small diameter barrel grip, only two and three eighths of an inch for easy handling. Variable speed control dial from 6,000 to 20,000 OPMs. Enables user to match the speed of the application. All right. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of these things here. Let's get this thing unboxed. I will say this. My Power 3. I feel like it needs some oil, or quite frankly, it needs to be cleaned. Because deployments seems a little slow. Look at that, plus, look at all that. It's like growing fur. Whoa. I will say this, no nonsense on the tool only packaging. Okay, there's no, as you can see, there's no hidden compartments in this Makita box. If you want to know what I'm talking about, hidden boxes, Makita box, go to this video here. It's compelling. First out of the box is the instructions. I kind of know my way around a multi-tool, so we're gonna leave that aside until I really need it. Here you go, uh, pretty cool. So, in the first bag out of the box, it contains three components. Number one, it looks like it contains a pretty aggressive Makita wood blade. I, I'm going to tell you this right out of the gate, as the kids say, right out the gate. This looks like, I'm saying it's built in Switzerland. This looks like a Bosch blade. Hashtag just saying. So it's inch and a quarter, it's for wood. It's got a depth scale on the blade, pretty cool. And look, it's in both metric and English. Look at that, pretty cool. Then they have two adapters here to allow you to fit almost any style blade onto this multi-tool, which is, comes out of the box next. I will say this, this multi-tool feels mighty substantial in your hand. I will say it does here at the head, it has a nice rubber over mold to it. This does feel big and it does feel, I will say somewhat heavy in my opinion. You know, I'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing, but what it does make me wanna do is throw it on a scale. So let's turn our scale on. And tool only, bare tool, is three pounds, 9.7 ounces. I mean, this tool has some weight to it. And quite frankly, it look, I'm just being like, it looks like it's built like a tank. Like a tank. I will say this though. The one thing I am not noticing is a light. 
Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I need a more deep dive into this tool, but I'm not seeing a light here. It does have the speed dial. It does, speed dial, I'm a little disappointed. It does not go to 11, only goes to six, okay? But it does, listen to that. Now, look. That's very positive. That is a nice dial. That, it, it, you don't have to worry. You, there's, no, there's no wondering. Hear that? Pretty nice. The switch here, we have full on, okay, and off. You see on, let's see, let's see how that works. I wanna see how that works. And then we have the quick release handle. Pull it all the way back, boom, you're ready to go. Pretty amazing. So let's see how that works. Boom, like that locks it down. Look at that. Pull that unbelievably tight. Let's pull it down. Now we're loose. Boom, we're gonna pull that out. We're gonna, we're gonna put on our Makita blade. You'll see that this blade, because it's OIS, I have no idea, even, I, I've never seen that before, but that's the, the pattern, style of blade and the head of this unit. Fits right on with no adapter, okay? So we'll pop that on. We'll put our, our little knurled knob on, and then boom, it locks down. Very, very, very intuitive, very quick, pretty awesome. I, I like that. Very positive. Look at that. Now, if you look at the, this, this is not a screw. Those are not screw threads. They don't thread on, it seems. They're just, it's like almost like notches. Good part is, is that you could orient that blade in any manner that you want. Okay? To, 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 to fit the situation that you're, you're in. Look at that. Okay? Pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty intuitive. I like it. The only thing I, I feel like I'm, I'm wanting would be a light. Now there is a little indicator here. I don't know what that indicator is, okay? But that's the only light on board here, it seems. I believe, but we're gonna, we're gonna see. I like how this works. If you're trying to, if you're looking at this unboxing or review, whatever you wanna call it, you know, you wanna know how these things work. You wanna know how, what's the different blade change, maybe from a different brand competitor. It's understandable. We're gonna lock that down. Let's pop a battery on here. I will say something else. The insertion at the battery, I don't know if it's due to, you could see this, this large cleat or clip, very positive. You hear that? And there is no, look at that. This battery and, and tool, when they're together, they ain't playing. There's no play between the battery and the tool. Really, really nice. Really nice. Whew. You could, let's do it again. You hear it? Listen. Look at it. No playing. All right. Now, as you can see, you could either see how that switch works. So you just push it forward and it stays full on. You don't have to keep your, your finger on it. You could. That is sweet. And I will say this, compared to other oscillating tools, from memory, this is pretty quiet. And I'll say something else. There's not a huge amount of vibration. Not a huge amount of vibration. 
But we know what you want to see at this point. You want to see it cut some wood. Let's see how it does. Yo, we're going to be using the, the Fat Boy by Fast Cap, our buddy. Menorca Home Solutions sent this over for us to use. We appreciate it. We're gonna make our lines, quite frankly. I wanna just see how, I just wanna see how straight of a line we can, we can cut with our tool, our multi-tool. And um, I just wanna see how it feels. I will say this, just freewheeling the tool is very, very, very vibration free. Not a whole lot of vibration. Now I will say this, a good feature of the tool is you're able to easily and quickly change the orientation of the blade. And that's what I'm gonna do to make this cut. Included blade did a really great job. Nice, clean cut, smooth cut. And the tool did a, a really awesome job. Didn't heat up. I feel like it didn't transmit a whole lot of vibration into my arms. This is a tool, especially as a remodeler, okay? This is a very useful tool. Will allow you to get a lot of work done. People that are not in the remodeling industry might not pay as much attention to this tool, but there are tons and tons and tons of uses. Matter of fact, I think that most people wouldn't know 99% of the uses you can use this tool for. If you know some uses for this tool, leave it down in the comments section below. Help out the community, because people have to have their eyes opened to how versatile this tool is, the oscillating tool. I think this one did a pretty good job here. I'm excited to see how this does in Tool Test Raw. And if you're excited to see how this does in Tool Test Raw, go on over to that video. We linked it up above. With that, I want to say I appreciate every single one of you being here. I've got to tell you, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. But I just got it unboxed. So it'll take some time for me to give it a definitive. But I wanted to say thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Got to pick up my pencil. Look. My 
the tip broke off my pencil. Bet you don't know how to sharpen this, but I do. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.